Good afternoon. I'm taking class seven physics from chapter one. This is physical quantities and measurement. In class six, we have already finished the physical quantities as well as the measurement, the extension of that we are continuing in class seven. Physical quantities are those which can be expressed by instruments or even by physical movements Expression is a sensation. If it is done by physical movement. If something we feel hot, our physical movement of hands and legs and body parts will say it is hot. It is cold the same way. But such expressions cannot be measured. The expressions which can be measured are actually called the physical quantities. So physical quantities are quantities which can be measured. So we say physical quantity one which can be measured by using appropriate instruments. Such physical quantities are there. A term comes from measurement. That means this chapter is also having a part in it. It's called measurement. So first, we came to know what the physical quantities are. We read the physical quantities in class six in terms that they are most basic physical quantities. Basic or fundamental. quantity. Basic or fundamental quantities are those which can be expressed in its own basic form only. One kind of fundamental quantity cannot be expressed in the second or other kind. They are very independent, they are very fundamental and they are basic. So we read that time that the basic or fundamental quantities we read by name as they are say first we read that is length length in the definition form definition form is that distance between any two points. These two points can have a separation, have a distance. This distance can be said as the two points, say point A and point B, distance can be a straight a distance can be a curve. Any of the way the distance can be spoken. Both the things, distance can be said to be in the form of a straight form without changing direction. Distance can be continuously changing direction in the form of a curved line. 
both the things can be said a distance though straight line distance is known as the shortest distance now this is unit in which unit this is measured it's a unit we read as in si form it's si unit was meter and we write like small letter m as meter we read in class 6 also so length length can be measured by name of devices device name meter ruler meter scale measuring tape and many such things devices so length can be measured the first fundamental quantity the next fundamental quantity i do right here mass mass we read mat quantity of matter quantity of matter contained in a body quantity of matter contained in a body is the definition form so that is called mass mass is quantity of matter contained in a body its unit si unit is kilogram is kilogram symbolized as kg k should be a small letter kg device name what is the device which can measure the quantity of mass that is called physical balance beam balance grosser's balance electrical balance so many are there they can actually measure the quantity of matter next we read that is time that is lapse of lapse or interval between any lapse or interval of period between any two events is called time is time s i unit is second denoted by small letter s and its device name is also known to us device name that is clocks of different kinds 
clocks of various kind watches so number 1 was length number 2 mass number 3 time we go for number 4 as well you can go for fourth kind temperature that is degree of hotness is called temperature degree of hotness how much hot the object is how much hot the thing is how much hot is the atmosphere how much hot is substance that how much that quantity is called degree it is a numeric figure its si unit of measurement is kelvin k must be the small letter k but it is denoted by capital k as a symbol device name thermometer thermometers of various kinds common name is thermometer which actually measures the temperatures these are four but there are a few more which will come time to time in our higher classes so up till now this four quantities are said to be the fundamental quantities it is just because we understand mass cannot be expressed in terms of time temperature cannot be expressed in terms of time mass cannot exp be expressed in terms of length means none of the one none of this can be expressed from its one kind to another <clears throat> but they can be combined to get many other quantities called derived quantities which we will do later on so here we came to know that these are the fundamental quantities in the introductory part this was known to us now we go ahead with this chapter we study about the volume the next part of it the volume volume is a term volume refers to space how much space can an object can a body occupy how much volume how much space can a body occupy i have got duster in my hand this duster has a shape because it is solid material it is a solid body this body is definitely occupying some space within the space around if i keep it on the table that also occupies a space this space is actually called its volume how much it occupies so a term comes called volume